Hello guys! Today we will discuss again about the Victorian era, centering this time on the theme of sex, a highly controversial subject during the Victorian period. Often concealed behind a facade of respectability, the era harboured sinful habits such as the frequenting of prostitutes, orgies, BDSM, and even delving into paedophilia and rape. Hello guys and welcome. If you would like to hear more historical gossip, then just click on that subscribe button. Now, let's start today's video. Viewer discretion is advised. This is an educational documentary. The angel woman is considered an angel of the heart. With marriage, women were not allowed to have a sexuality of their own. The Victorian wife became the property of her husband, who, by owning her body, did not need her consent for sexual relation. It was expected that women would arrive at marriage as virgins, fully dedicated to satisfying their husbands sexually. Their pleasure was solely derived from making their husbands happy, desiring sex only for procreation. Women who crossed this rigid boundary were labelled as immoral and scandalous. On the contrary, men enjoyed considerable sexual freedom and privacy. They could visit prostitutes and financially support long-term lovers. Despite society labelling these women as immoral, men still utilised them. Marriage laws explicitly stated that men could have sexual relations with other women while their wives were obligated to remain faithful. Only the missionary position was permitted. Some enlightened doctors allowed slight leg elevation, but any other position could cause harm to the delicate woman, leading to contusions, paralysis, or even death. The first wedding night was a nightmare, and engaging in too vigorous sex after a long wait from the man could result in hemorrhaging for the woman. Masturbation was highly frowned upon, considered a waste, and deemed capable of interrupting vital function. The Victorian experts' opinions on sexual matters are detailed in the book The Sex Marriage Manners, written by historian Teresa O'Neill. The book outlines the puritanical norms of the time, including the prohibition of standing or leg-tightened sex. Women were advised not to engage in sexual activity after lunch, as it could lead to a heart attack, or after consuming alcohol, as children conceived under such circumstances were believed to be affected by idiocy and nervous disorder. The medical and social knowledge of the time primarily focused on offering ethical moral advice rather than clinical insights. The existence of female body parts exclusively for pleasure, such as the clitoris, was not considered. It was believed that women experienced little to no pleasure during sex, and even if they did, it was deemed sinful, inappropriate, and a threat to femininity. Sex was seen merely as an act to satisfy men and conceive children. Maintaining intimate hygiene was considered impure because it could lead to self-pleasure. To safeguard this virtue, some women refrained from hygiene practices, while those who chose cleanliness had to use a sponge dipped in cold water to avoid encouraging masturbation, since hot water was considered too pleasurable for women. This provides just a glimpse of how Victorians perceived sex. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos for more insight. And you guys, did you know about the crazy beliefs regarding women's sexuality during the Victorian period?